Here is an overview of how to access and navigate the Capacitance Lab Simulator from phet.colorado.edu. First, you need to navigate to the online simulator using a search engine. There are multiple versions of this requiring either Java or Flash Player, but their general functions will be very similar. I will be demonstrating the functions on the first version. You may need to wait for it to load. Remember that capacitance is the proportionality between electric charge on conductors and the potential difference between them. There are several proportionalities you can try out using the simulator. You can try out the proportionality of capacitance on area and distance. You can try out the relationship between capacitance, charge, and potential difference. The simulator will also calculate for you the electrical potential energy stored in the capacitor. For charge separation, first, you need to produce a potential difference using the battery. You can select the potential difference using the slider on the battery. To be more mathematical, select the voltmeter and then place it on the wires to be able to select an exact numeric potential difference. You can get a visual on the electric field lines by clicking the checkbox. Remember, the more dense the field lines are, the stronger the electric field is. You can change the plate area and the separation distance between them by click, hold, and dragging on the two-sided arrows. The simulator can then calculate for you 
the capacitance, the plate charge, and the stored potential energy. Now it's your turn to practice. Keeping the basic equations in mind, verify that the proportionalities calculated by the simulator are numerically accurate if you change the potential difference the area and the separation. Once you are comfortable with both the theory and the numerics, you may proceed onto more complicated setups such as ones involving a dielectric and multiple capacitors.